we are back at the Salt Flats for some more racing. We've got some race cars from the Piston Cup joining us today, so it should be an action-packed event. First up we have number 51, driving for Dynaco, Cruz Ramirez. She'll be facing off against next-gen racer, number 20, Jackson Storm. The racers are lined up at the start. The first car to win two races will advance on to the final round. Here they go. Jackson Storm leading the way. Cruz Ramirez trying to keep up. Ramirez now closing the gap on Jackson Storm. Ramirez overtakes Storm and wins race one. Jackson Storm does not appear to be too happy about that. Looking at the replay, Jackson Storm was very fast off the line. Cruz Ramirez gradually building up her speed. That gave her the advantage at the end of the race to pass up Storm and take the win. Here we go, they're back to the start for race two. One more win for Cruz Ramirez and she moves on to the finals. And they're off. This time it's Cruz Ramirez first off the line. Jackson Storm trying to catch up. Can Cruz Ramirez maintain the speed throughout the entire race? Yes, she can. Whoa, Jackson Storm taking out his frustration on the traffic cones. Let's see that one more time. A rough finish for Jackson Storm, losing both races to Cruz Ramirez. Up next, we have a legend in the racing world. He's also driving for Dynaco. It's number 43, the King Strip Weathers. He'll be racing against his longtime rival, number 86, Chick Hicks. These two have a lot of history in the Piston Cup. Let's see how they do racing on the Salt Flats. Here we go with race one. Chick Hicks pulling ahead, pushing the King into the barrier. The King is stuck. Chick has a reputation for driving a little dirty. It appears that has not changed. And Chick Hicks wins race one. A very unsportsmanlike win for Chick Hicks. Pushing the King around like that is nothing to be proud of. They're back at the start. Let's see if the King can win this race to even the score. There they go. The King with a burst of speed off the starting line. Chick Hicks not far behind. Chick Hicks trying to catch up to the King. He's getting close. It's a tight race, but the King pulls it off to win race two. A very close race. That's exactly what you expect from these two top competitors in the sport of racing. Okay, here we go. The next car to pass the finish line moves on to the finals. And they're off. The King and Chick Hicks side by side. Chick pushing on the side of the King, but he's not letting up. This is intense. It's a real fight out there. They're neck and neck. Who's gonna win? And I don't know who won. A photo finish on the last race. We're gonna have to go to the instant replay to find out who's the winner. Here they are side by side. It's still hard to tell. Let's get a little closer. And it's the King Strip Weathers who takes the win by a nose. Wow, that was close. That means the King will be racing against Cruz Ramirez in an all Dynaco race. Two cars from different generations, both representing for the same team. Regardless of who comes in first, Dynaco wins. Here we go for the first race. The King pulls out in front to lead the way. Cruz Ramirez starting to fall behind. The King looking really good out there. And he will pass the finish line first to win the race. Ramirez taps the back end of the King. A little back and forth exchange between the two racers after the finish line. No doubt there's some friendly rivalry going on. One more win for the King and he will be the winner. They're off for race two. Cruz Ramirez takes the lead. She's weaving back and forth. This may be her strategy to block the King. And it appears to have worked. Whoa! The King takes a bad tumble at the finish line, rolling his car multiple times, flipping over the barrier. We're gonna get a truck down there to help him out. In the meantime, let's go to the replay. The King hits the right barrier, pops up onto that cone, and wow, that was a bad crash. But it appears the King is okay. Cruz Ramirez out there checking on him. That's what good sportsmanship is all about. Okay, this is it. Both racers are tied with one win. The next driver to pass the finish line will be the winner. Will it be the King Strip Weathers or Cruz Ramirez? And they're off for the last race. 
It's a close one, they're side by side. Cruz Ramirez starting to pull ahead now. The King right there behind her. Cruz weaving back and forth again. I think she's got it. And Cruz Ramirez does it, outpacing the King in the final race for the win. A great performance today by Cruz Ramirez. She's got the speed, determination, sportsmanship, and that's why Cruz Ramirez is a winner.